Silliness and Strength, Random Acts of Kindness. Hello everyone. I hope you've had a good week and the rest of your weekend will be grand too. Today, I'd like to talk about silliness. I value humor and playfulness and I believe that for many people, uh, they are necessary to enjoy life and create a healthy lifestyle balance. Everyone needs to laugh sometimes. We all need to have some smile time. We need to relax, breathe, and enjoy our lives. I think that these moments of downtime or hell in time are so important to my mental health and well being. I'm very energetic, active, and outgoing, and I love being busy. But sometimes I just need to chill and do very little. Or nothing at all. Taking this time for myself lets me recharge my batteries and regroup my strength so I can get up and kick ass, as my friend Caitlin says, the next day. Other times, I need to be playful and silly. When I worked for the Student Justice Center at my university a few years ago, we had a few student support events that were meant to help with relaxing and enjoying life. A university student's lifestyle may be busy, full of pressure, and very stressful. Our office tried to help th with that by offering free consultation hours for chats, support with social justice issues, events such as film screenings, and most importantly, some smile time, like I mentioned earlier. Those silly people running around with free hugs signs? They were us. Those chatty people offering free hot chocolate on cold days, they were us too. Those friendly people offering free breakfasts in the busy hallway between two buildings, also us. The smallest act of kindness is worth more than the grandest declaration. Oscar Wilde. It's the small things we do that have a big impact on others and can potentially change lives. I know that when I'm having a hard time, a tiny thing can make a big difference. A hug, a hot or cold drink, some good food, a chat with friends, or acquaintances, or even strangers, can all really cheer me up on a bad day. Friends have done all of these things for me at different times in my life, and I've also done them for others. When I received them, they made a difference for me in those moments. I hope they helped others too. To me, these silly, kind moments give me strength, just like my downtime does. I think that silliness and strength can be more connected than we think they are. I value random acts of kindness, racks, a heck of a lot. I think it's important to be silly and be kind and have fun. They say that we're all in this together. Shouldn't we do what we can to help ourselves and each other along? Do you take time to be silly? Kind? Both? What do you do? Does it make a difference in your life? Have you ever received or given a random act of kindness? Rack. Did it make a difference in that moment? Leave me a comment if you want to. I'd like to hear your thoughts. Thank you all for waiting patiently for my blog to get back up and running. I really appreciate you waiting for my writing to resume. Life is an ongoing journey and I'm reintegrating blogging back into it. So far, I've been sticking to a weekly posting routine and I intend to continue doing so. <laughs> if you enjoyed this post, check out some similar older ones. Silliness, Reclaiming Silly, Sunshine, My Positive Attitude, and or Silliness, Laughing at Myself. If you're interested in my teaching, working, volunteering, and or travel experience, be sure to check out my LinkedIn profile. Thanks for stopping by.